Hey everyone, and welcome to your Tuesdays on The Witch's Voice, and in, on this topic, we are talking about our tools that we mostly use in witchcraft. And I, well, the ones I mostly use are a lot of divination stuff, and yeah, so I'll just jump right into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is my Oracle deck, and I've used these, like, every other day. They are so accurate, and the cards are the gateway cards, and, yeah, this the, um, I don't know if it's the front or the back, I'm pretty sure, I'm thinking it's the back, and that's the front, but the artwork in here, it's like the one I really love is, I'm like out of breath, and I have no idea why, Believing in Magic, that one I like. Um, it's like the one opening up to love. That's the one I really like and I've gotten before. Which is a good thing. So, here we go. Opening to love. So, that one I like a lot. Mostly because, you know, relationships right now, my time are difficult. And I always would love to get that card because, I mean, I'm actually open to it. I'm going to lower myself so my hope... Oh, hmm, that's as low as I can get. Okay. But, yeah, that, those are my divination cards. I still have to make a new bag for these. This is my old bag. Um, I'll show you. The one I made for my other deck that I hardly use anymore is this bag. It's really earthy, and that's why I really like it. And the other one I use all the time, and it's my new item, it's my new mortar and pestle. It's, as you can tell, it's already been used, if you can tell. Ooh, there you go. You can see some grain stuff in there. Um, it's amazing, and the stuff doesn't even fly out at you. It's really cool, which is surprising that you would think things would fly out at you, because it's so loud. Whew. This is why I can never meditate in my room when anyone is home. Oh, okay. So I use that to make my Samhain incense, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna yawn, okay. The other things I use are my pendulums, and this one is dirty. Why is it dirty? What is the matter with it? I think I need to clean it. Okay, well, this one is the one I used with my art project. Has a pinnacle right there, too. And this one is the one I am connected the most to. And it has a little ball in the end. I have another one, and it's a tiger's eye, but then the chain fell off, and it's just annoying. But this is the tiger's eye head. Let's get that. This was my very first pendulum. So, those are those. And... Oh. Okay. And they're my little treasure box. That I also did in my art project. Okay, so the other thing is my wand. This is all handmade, as you can tell. No one would really sell this kind of wand. This was my second wand that I've made. The first one is over on my bookshelf. But I made out of string and copper wiring. And I use this most mostly to cast my circle. to Mostly to direct the energy and make a circle with it. That's what I mostly use with this. And sh pointing up to like point to the gods and goddesses. So I use that for that. And... My athame. So, that's what it looks like. It has little dragons on the ends. I got... I'll show you that. You can see them better like this. So, yeah. And then they have a little crystal ball at the top. I fell in love with this the very first time I got it. I got this at the Vi I got this at the Violet Flame. And when I saw it, I think it was probably like the fourth or fifth time I visited the Violet Flame and I fell in love with it. There was another one there that I really wanted to get and I really should have got. 
mostly because I did not know it was going to close, so I was hoping to actually go back that day and get it, but then I found out it was closed, so that kind of sucked. But, yeah, I usually use this to carve things into my candles because, you know, it's not pointy, it's not dull, it's uh, in between where it's like really easy to carve stuff, but you won't cut yourself. So, even if you like, you know when you carve stuff then you kind of slip, you can't cut yourself with this, unless you like, ur, ur, ur. that's the only way. So, yeah, I would never do that, mostly because you can't, they're not used to uh, draw blood or anything. So, the other thing is my candle snuffer. I use this all the time, ever since I got it. I got it the same time I got my mortar and pestle. And it works amazing. It I knew I was going to love it, like, the first time I saw it, and, yeah, uh, th like I said, these are the ones I usually use all the time. I have a lot more, but I don't use them every single time I do a spell ritual or just meditating. The other thing are my runes, and I think these are my lima beans, which I do not use. Where are my good ones? Okay, so... These are my lima bean runes that I got from, that I made from Charming Pixie Flora in this little small bag that says runes. And yeah. I also have, okay, I'm obsessed with making runes. If you can see in my videos, these are all my runes. Okay. So I have a pair of stone runes. It just sounds like I said maroons. No. But a pair of stone runes. You know, like, I'll just hold one up. Like that. Just white stones, because I love white. And then, these are my very first runes. They're, um, obsidian. That's it. I forgot the name for some reason. But, I love these so much. But, okay. Okay, this lighting is not good in my room. But, yeah, these are, this is what they look like. And, yeah, those are my first ones. And I don't think I'm going to go through all my runes, but... Here are the other three. Uh, like I said, obsessed with runes. So if you ever want some runes, contact me. Okay? <laughs> okay, then the last thing I use is my cauldron. I got this, like, a year or two years ago. Actually, I think it was in 2010, so it would be like two years ago. I got this at a flea market with my mom, which I'm very surprised they had. I also got this candle holder. It's like really tall and really nice. I used it for the, my god candle for a while. And yeah, that worked pretty well. So that's all the ones I usually use like on a day-to-day -day basic basis um i also use my incense but i'm not gonna bring them all over here that's a lot and i use my incense holder which is just a peace sign with stars on it i got i do not remember where i got this i think i got it at the co-op but other than that that's pretty much all i use and my god i got this candle my got the statue got a statue you know just the basic stuff but this stuff i usually concentrate on the most and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this and smote it be hope you guys are having a wonderful day night or evening bye